comma separate values or a CSV file is a great way of achieving some integrations. Let's see how we can do this in our systems. So if you're looking at my service studio, our reactive web application is here. I have an entry called customer, which has these attributes. I've also separately bootstrapped this table with some sample data. What I will do quickly next is create the usual listing and detail screen. So we have uh, on the screen a list of customers as well as a page where we can add or modify these customers. Uh, it's a great way of creating these screens faster by using scaffolding. Now in the listing page, uh, this is where let's say we want to export the list of records into a CSV file. To do this, first of all, let me add a button. Uh, it can come a bit later and we'll give it a relevant name. Let's call it CSV. Next, we will double click on the button to provide the logic of what happens when somebody uh, is trying to export CSV and we will run a server action. Uh, it will be a new one that we are going to create now and we'll go inside the action to provide the logic. So let's do a few things here first. First of all, again, a relevant name. And uh, this particular action will return output in a form of binary file that will be containing the data. Let's call it file and make sure the data type is binary. Uh, what we'll do next is get the customer from the database. So I'm getting all the list of customers in here. In case you want to do any filtration, joins, additional stuff, you can do this here in the aggregate. In my case, this looks okay. So uh, in the next step, the most important part is adding a reference to a utility. Now, if you go to Forge, you will find utility for CSV also. This allows you to both import and export CSV data. In my case, I've already installed this in my environment. So I'll just go ahead and add a dependency by using manage dependency here, looking for CSV. It has a lot of useful functions in there. Uh, in my case, the one for exporting data from the table into a CSV is this one. So I'll go ahead and use it. And then thereafter, I can use the AI function here to search for the Nuclear function. In case you don't know this, it exists right here, CSV extension. You can also just drag and drop this here. Now in this piece of uh, action that is coming from the extension, we will provide the record that we have above, get customer list. Now in this case, you'll see at the bottom, there's an error. Uh, the function, the extension function, expects the data to be in the form of an object. So for that, we can also use uh, built-in functions for data conversion. Here we go, to object and I will put the list under the two object function. Okay, you can also use, uh, just type these words here, it, it works, you have IntelliSense built into this editor. And there you go. In the configurations, let me also just put one delimiter, this comma. And then in the last step, we'll use an assignment operator to pass the output of this function into our file variable, which looks somewhat like this file will have the output of the extension method above. Thereafter, let's go back to our uh, main screen logic where we are calling this action from. And what we need to do next is just use the download. Uh, make sure you put it just right on top of the end and then provide the file content as the file variable coming from the action above and file name could be anything that you wish. Let's say sample.csv. CSV. And that's it. Let's go ahead and publish it. So while it's publishing, uh, make sure that you have this uh, uh, utility added to your environment. This allows you to both import and export CSV data. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Almost done. Let's launch the application. So the listing page, and if we click on any of these records, we see the jail page. And then if we go back, our button for exporting data into CSV is here. I'll click on it. We get the sample.csv, same as the name that I provided. And if I click on it, I have the CSV available here. Okay. In case you want to see it in a notepad or something to really make sure it's here, I can maybe open it in a notepad. And you can see the data is coming in a comma separated value format.
Thanks for watching.